What up, man, bros and broids? I'm Cowboy95. I know, I can't. I'm trying to uh, change up my uh, outro. So. Um, but anyway. Uh, two things, real fast. Um, if you To the new viewers. If y'all have not seen episode 1 for The Walking Dead, it's down in the. Uh, I mean, the link is down. In the description below. <clears throat> if it's not, sorry about that. If it's not, I'm sorry. Probably I'm lazy or something like that. Uh, probably uh, y'all just went through my playlist, so y'all can go right ahead and do that. And feel free to subscribe. And another thing is, if y'all are hearing something in the background, like the baby, the dog. Here's for example the fan. Hopefully y'all cannot hear the fan. If y'all can, if it's if it's a problem, well, too bad. Tell the weather it should be cold in Texas. It's fucking hot in Texas. So anyway, I'm just letting y'all uh know what's going on, and yeah, let's go ahead and play this game. I know who you are. Oh, I Fucking got another drive. good one for you. <laughs> Fucking drive. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. That son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Ah, uh, the sound effects. <laughs> I know, I know. The uh, the choices I make affect the game. Tell them. Okay, I think I remember episode two. Ooh. Three months later. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Damn it. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. I never ate it's a rabbit so before. Much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, a rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. <laughs> when I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Probably not enough. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without today. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. 
Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in uh. a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? We'll see there was a bug on me, man, bros. Seems like he's got a problem uh, with you in particular. Flew in my eye, somehow. <laughs> he's an old racist he's asshole. Old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, <laughs> he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in the room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah. Fucking crows! <gasps> Shoot it! Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Um, you some of the bitch. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh, shit. No, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, huh, get it off me. Get it off, God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not ben. a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. You gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After Are you sure about that? Or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, okay. God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please. Hurry. Ah. Oh. Uh. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. No release latch. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never leave. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Okay. Uh. He's kill no, no, no. Please Stop. do something. Oh, my God. Please. Uh. Let's not do Please this. Stop, stop, stop. Ah, Try come on. Oh, Jesus, those things are... How the fuck do you get these things open? We don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Let's it's go. Ah, oh, come on. You're a teacher here. <laughs> hurry. Hurry. <laughs> There's got to be something we can bad. do. Really bad. Lee, it has Just to be me now. Out. Please. All that blood and screaming. Please. We're surrounded any minute. Just leave him like this. Fuck it. Damn it, Lee. Just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have no, to no, go no. now. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Ah. Can't keep him back forever. Ah. Never no how it does. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Ah. Never no how it happens. This is going to happen. He's wasting too much blood to cover it. Cover the blood. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Oh. 
Oh shit. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Look here, it's our instruction, let's get out of here. Ah, you can see his guts. The Walking Dead. <laughs> you can see my teeth. The Walking Dead. Oh, it's hot in here. Episode 2. Sorry for help. Comet time. Damn, call me time to kind of bust my ear. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? I'm oh, glad that part didn't lag. What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? We have time to explain. See? Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. She, she she's not thinking through. Yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Like, you're low on, on food and you people. want to think. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? So is that a guy named Mark? Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Well, you she... know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Well, you, it seems like you kind of are. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. What? No, I'm serious. I have Pick one of these. And start handing it out. You <laughs> see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. <laughs> Cheese crackers. 
it's like one of the best snacks you can ever have. Except their cracker just kind of looks weird. It's gonna be hard for the kids to starve, so. How you doing, Valentine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? Sure. I had it a couple days <laughs> sure. ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Cliff. I've got to take care of some things. We should go back to playing with Duck for a while. Okay. Okay, for a voice actor for Lee, it's not really that bad. I'm, I'm like being serious. Like, he has a nice uh, voice acting. Well, a nice voice. Let's give her. Give piece of jerky. How about that? You like does girls like jerky? Sunday would be better next like, time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that like, in mind. Do you like to I chew and stuff? Food. Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we not get some food? Uh Hey Duck. How about a little food? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, gift cheese, uh, cracker and cheese. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Here for Kenny, I would get. I I didn't thought about giving. Want something to eat? Uh, give half an apple. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. And I truly appreciate you taking care of us, Lee. I'm gonna give this to Kasha. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, let's give it to Kasha. I would give it to her. Lonely. From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. I would give it to her. But. I would give one to Mark. Kasha, Mark, Kasha, Mark. This year. I gave one for Clementine, uh, Doug, and Ken. So, fuck it. Kim might like me while I uh, take care of his family, also. Here, Just help around. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah. I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Yeah. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. You didn't want... <laughs> she didn't take it! Well, fuck it. Uh, I'll give it to Mark. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. 
What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. I, I, I'm going to be feeling bad if I call, it, call this Mark Markiplier. Mark, I don't think Mark is going to watch this, but I'm sorry. Um, but he kind of looks like a, a Telltale character. He kind of looks like Markiplier. Here, eat something. Except he doesn't have blue eyes. Yeah, give him cheese crackers. Thanks, Lee. Get you something to snack on. Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Give facts to Mark. Give facts to Larry. Fuck Larry. Her. Here, Mark. Mark. This should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? <laughs> His finger. <laughs> is that what you told him? There. That's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. By this point, nobody does a like Larry. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Oh, come on. I don't give food to pissy Daddy, tramps. Daddy, come here, please. It feels like I'm about to he sneeze. Didn't make it, did he? he lost too much blood. I God knew it. Damn it. I knew I'm it. Sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Uh... Let's see. Oh, I screamed that loud. Oh my god. Give me the axe! Shut the fuck up. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. 
It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it, I've been watching like we the Walking Dead lately. Everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny but, Pitcher, I I've never seen this fifth season. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. We're pretty yeah, much slow on food. Mark, check the place out. See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are I knew I think? could trust Carly. Okay, we'll go to the dairy. No deal, we'll just stay here. I would just say check the place out, just see if it's safe or not. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So this dairy, that was a quick loading screen. Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Mary knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Ask me about it. A lie to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Hmm. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty yep. settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Alright, I don't want to lie, so... Lily runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's just... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut me out of this. 
cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always hooking the bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man. my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two. Don't worry. I wish I could just show their subtitles instead of the bandits. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Totally. I prefer being in a safe area. Instead of getting my head blown up by a shotgun. Oh, that was the perfect timing. Here it is. St. John Family Deck. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing. Damn. Generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow on good things. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? They all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Yeah, it wouldn't... It wouldn't be matter if it was, uh... Uh, who's in charge is depends with survival out. skills. This Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for me. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. And we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, mama, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take that along? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Take care of yourself! Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Okay, uh... Let's make sure this... Make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal. Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. 
And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay, uh, this is a, a perfect spot to end episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and become a man, bro. Since I know there's females on here, I'm trying to change up my outro. Please hit that subscribe button and become a man, bro, or broette. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.